Hello, this is Richard Wilson, and today we'll be talking about hedge fund startups, uh, investment fund startups, and emerging managers. Specifically, we're going to talk about uh, common mistakes made uh, by them, but then also some marketing and sales best practices, which should help you uh, if you are an emerging manager. Um, a statistic came out in 2005 showing that over 50% of hedge fund failures were due to business and operational reasons and not due to poor performance. I think uh, most people outside the industry and most investors don't realize that and having a sound business is not only something that investors are starting to scrutinize more but it's also something that if you're running a fund um, obviously it should be one of your top concerns since it's the number one reason for uh, funds failing in the past. To help mitigate some of the, um, the risk of running your business as an investment fund, there are a few things you can do. One, I um, would highly uh, recommend that you download a business plan template and complete a full business plan for your hedge fund. Uh, this should include uh, your marketing, operations, hiring practices, your mission, your goals, um, and your growth strategy as your, as your firm expands. If you meet with institutional consultants as your fund grows, they'll ask the types of questions um, that should be included in this business plan. So really completing a really solid business plan is going to help you complete due diligence questionnaires and help you complete due diligence phone calls uh, down the road. Next, um, we definitely recommend putting some formal hiring um, and contract templates in place for your firm. Uh, you should meet with an attorney. Or there are some websites that provide kind of uh, template-based legal contracts if you're looking for something simple, um, such as an employer contract or a confidentiality contract. Uh, LegalZoom.com has a whole bunch of uh, free resources that um, that we have used in the past, and it can count, it can lower your overall legal costs. If you do have something such as a fund formation that you're looking at doing, something more complicated, or if you want a hedge fund attorney to review something that you've gotten from a website such as this. Uh, you could go to our service provider directory. Um, the biggest one we have is on hedgefundblogger.com. If you go to service provider directory, go down to hedge fund attorney. Here are two attorneys um, that you could meet with um, or speak to over the phone, uh, Blau Malik and Brent Gillette. I've met with both in person and referred over 50 funds to them in the past and have never got any negative feedback at all uh, from professionals that that work with them. So I'd highly suggest meeting with an attorney. If you're forming a fund, if you just formed a fund, if you haven't yet, um, you should get their advice. It could save you much more money than you spend in the long run. Um, next, to uh, mitigate your business risk further in running a fund, I'd suggest using some sort of uh, business process analysis tool or mind mapping tool. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, it's very simple. Um, here's an example of one. Here's for a website that we're launching um, fun marketing tools. You can see you can organize one idea and then you have child ideas that come off of that. So for your hedge fund business, um, you could manage the different parts of your business and make it visual for either the management team or everyone in your firm exactly what you're spending your time on, what different resources your firm must constantly be building, what types of expertise you're building. Um, perhaps what types of processes you're working on getting in place. And this can be a really good visual tool um, for your firm to use. If you want to create one of these for yourself, uh, it is free to use. The website is bubbl.us. And you can very easily, I can show you real quick here, once you log in and create your own account, um, you choose start a new sheet and after you start a new one, uh, it's very simple. You start with one central idea and then you just grow it from there and you can expand and describe your whole business here uh, very quickly. So here in the middle we're going to put, um, you know, say Wilson Capital Management. Okay. Now this might be a business plan for yourself, just a visualization for yourself and managing your fund. Uh, next here you could put marketing and sales. Down here you could put employee and team management. Over here you could put portfolio management. 
And you can see within each of these areas that there might be five or six tasks that you're, you're having to complete either every day or over the next quarter. For marketing and sales, you might decide just for planning purposes that you want to break this up. And you might allocate equal amounts of time to these three different types of marketing. Marketing to high net worth individuals, marketing to family and friends, and then perhaps marketing to uh, local financial advisors. Usually I like to make the, uh, if they're different levels, I like to make them some sort of different color to make them easier to read. But you can see here you can manage your whole business and within just 20-30 minutes of using this website you can have everything very visually laid out. It makes it easy to train somebody new. It makes it easy to see what challenges or tasks you have in front of you and it makes sure that you keep a 10,000 foot view of your business so that you don't forget that on top of managing the portfolio and trying to raise capital, you're also running a business and they need to be, there needs to be formal business processes in place so that you can manage those and improve those over time. Okay, so now on to um, some marketing and sales best practices. Um, most hedge funds do start with marketing to friends and family. Um, they look at coworkers. They look at people that have known them for 10, 20 years, and they know their trading abilities. They know their portfolio management abilities. This is the way that most people initially raise capital. Um, by friends, this can mean pa this can mean past coworkers or peers in the industry that you know. Um, many times, traders will f help fund other traders who go out and start their own funds. Um, another form of raising capital is financial advisors. Um, going after financial advisors that have high net worth individuals as clients can be an effective way, especially locally if you can meet face to face to raise capital. And then uh, the next step beyond that would be meeting with wealth management firms. Um, we can create a little bubble here for that, but meeting with larger wealth management firms that have many clients with high net worth um, status that could possibly invest in your fund. Um, and as your fund grows in size, then you can kind of move down the totem pole or move up the totem pole, I guess, to the more sophisticated, uh, less retail investors up through wealth management to family offices, institutional consultants, pension funds, endowments, and foundations. Um, one thing to remember, and a common mistake that I see a lot of hedge fund startups making is they describe their strategy as um, well diversified, uncorrelated with the general markets. You know, they have a very, you know, in-depth experienced team. Uh, the problem with that is that professionals like myself and especially investors who probably get twice the number of hedge fund marketing materials than I do, um, see the same thing over and over again and everybody looks the same. So the trick is to come up with a unique selling proposition. Um, and not just a selling proposition. And to make it truly unique, you need to figure out exactly why you did start your fund, what skills you guys have on your team that combined um, create something unique, or what unique insight or strategic information advantage your firm has over all of your competitors. Because if it doesn't look unique, then it probably won't get uh, read at all. Um, I recently gave a speech in Florida on hedge fund marketing best practices. And um, this was at the Marcus Evans conference in Boca Raton. And during that conference, or during that speech, I went over the five best practices that hedge funds can use to market their fund. Um, one of them here is the materials focus on the four factors of hedge fund marketing. Um, so what I suggest here is that the four most important things while marketing are pedigree, uh, building your team into a high quality, um, highly experienced team unique to your business process and the product you're offering, um, getting your presentation quality up, so having a professional logo, having professional marketing materials, having an investment process that is described in a way that it presents a unique selling proposition and not just a selling proposition, and then the last thing obviously is uh, managing portfolio risk and having that track record of managing risk within your portfolio over the long term. So I really think that um, those are the four things that investors really look for most, pedigree, presentation quality, process and a unique selling proposition created by that investment process, and then portfolio risk management. Um, so that pretty much wraps up uh, you know, our talk today on hedge fund startups. And if you're looking for more information on starting a hedge fund or running a small investment fund, please see hedgefundstartupguru.com. Thank you.